Welcome to the wheel world. <laughs> Why did you laugh like that? Why did you say it like because that? Because I was trying to be like one of those like really like like guys who have the deep voices i am so confused and this is why i'm not a simp over you <laughs> what the hell babe i love you that is so the opposite of true that you're those so things confused. are the exact reason why you do love me so <laughs> you can't even lie about that you're so freaking weird i know that's why you love me you can't say that's oh the reason God. why you're not a simp for me like people listen to this <laughs> half the audience is like i love rebel she's so funny and half the audience is like Jesus Christ, I will calm down. I stick around for shove, though. She bounces it out. Uh, it might be more of like a 70-30, like 70 shove, 30 rebel, but that's okay because those 30 are hardcore and I love you. Oh, no, I'm boring. They're definitely here for the car crash. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of car crashes, but not crashing, just cars or other vehicles. What is kitchen? Skitching is when you, as a person on wheels, whether that be roller skating or skateboarding or anything else, I guess, that you have wheels on your feet for, and you're holding on to something that is someone else moving faster than you're moving. So you can skitch off of a bike, like you can hold onto the back of a bike. You could skitch off a motorcycle. You could skitch off an electric bike. Like, you, you could know, skitch off a car. It's a plan where it's hitching is like you hitch that trailer, but you're skating, so skitching. Oh my, I actually never knew that that's where that <laughs> word came serious? from. Wait. I was like, she's Is the- that really where that word came from? Yes. That's so funny. I did not know that. That no makes wonder. so much sense. Skating she, and hitching, that she, makes so much sense. She was typing something. She's like, it's, how do you spell it? It's correcting it. And I was like, because it's not a real word. I get it now. Wow. We all it's learned something here on this on episode words. of uh, Skate Date. Yeah. So <laughs> skitching's pretty cool. How many times have you skitched? Mm, I don't know. Maybe like five. I probably did it like three-ish times, maybe four. I almost died skitching the first time. Yeah. That's when you got staff and like all of that kind of stuff. And that was terrifying. Yeah, it was on a um, little like Vespa type of bike. Because of the potholes. Very scary. That's when I learned one at nighttime, but specifically at nighttime on a road you've never skated on before. Do Please not sketch. Please do not sketch. Okay, we gotta say, sketching is very dangerous and probably illegal. I don't know. Oh, it's definitely illegal. Okay, definitely you're, illegal. You're not even yeah. supposed to skate in the street. So, oh, yes, yeah, it's definitely. Illegal. Yeah, so it's not legal. So, we're not telling you to do it. But, and it's not <laughs> safe. Definitely do it. But uh, it's very fun. You go very fast and you can go up hills with much more ease than having to skate up the hill yourself, which is very nice. And um, it's you just like get the feeling of wind on your face and it feels really nice. Oh my God. When I was in Miami, I got the sketch off of the back of a party bus and there was like a mariachi band playing. Wait, no, they weren't mariachi, but it was like a band and they were playing. It's probably Cuban music, actually. And um, they were just playing and they had like the trumpets and everything going. And we're like, yeah, but then it was going kind of slow. So we're like, yeah, but this is still kind of slow. But it was epic because of the music and it was so fun. And everyone was like watching like crazy, like, oh, my God, what's happening? And it was super fun. But um, yeah, sketching is fun. I definitely am one of those people that will only sketch if like I ask first. Um, because I feel like if I do just grab onto a moving vehicle that they're going to see me and be like, fuck you and go fast or something. So that's my fear. So I, there's two types. There's some people that will just grab something and sketch off the bat. And then there's people that will like ask first. Yeah. It's a wild, that's a wild thing. I've never sketched without asking. Although actually, no, I sketched off a trolley at the wave of it. But they were really slow, so it was a not really exciting yeah, sketching. that was horrible. I ended up letting go and just skating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so they do have to go a little faster for it to be enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, but we sketched for a video that we made this past week with Moxie. I didn't sketch, but Rebel did. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I sketched off her dad's Harley. It was Ooh, pretty fancy. amazing. I also got to ride his Harley for the first time, and it was so cool. <laughs> uh, I had such a good time. I felt so, so badass. Yeah, it was awesome. 
And oh, yeah, I just really loved sketching. Super weird. Like I didn't sketch when the classic car, when the Bel Air, there was this like, awesome car came and everyone he was like cool with everyone skating with him but for me sketching downhill felt weird which is why I totally understand why like Michelle Estro and Spicy Ivy um like laid down like Michelle did it first where they kind of like laid down on the hood and had their feet on the ground sketching and I was like that would only work going back like downhill yeah I definitely <laughs> didn't know like I like grabbed onto it for a little while and I was like I already have so much speed yeah. so I don't need you like pulling it so I more like moved to the side and started dancing next to it because I was like what do I do in this situation yeah I felt like I couldn't get slow I couldn't find the right speed of the car I was like trying to carve slow behind and I was like this is taking too long and then I was like whoa now I'm going too fast and then I was like trying to stay next to it and I was like I just want to go fast like Ricky Bar, like Ricky Bobby and Talladega Nights. Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So, sketching is super fun, super dangerous. Definitely do it if you get a chance, but like, don't do it. But like, do it. You know what I mean? Do, um, when you sketch, do you like to be in the back of the car or on the side? Uh, so for cars, I like to be on the side because I like to be able to grab. I feel like on the back of the car, a lot of times there isn't actually something to grab onto. Mm -hmm. Like it's more like a weird grasping kind of a thing. Yeah, and like I the, really like to have a good grip. Yeah, on it's like either the bumper or the um or the, the trunk like, handle. The trunk handle. Yeah. And if the trunk handle is one of those that isn't going to open, I'm totally cool with that. And I actually like the back a lot mm -hmm. because as a side I'm always like low key concerned that my feet are gonna go under the wheels oh hell no see I yeah. want to be able to see what's coming so like I don't like the back I've always felt safest grabbing that little divider of like the back seat window and the front seat window like yeah. holding on to that because then I can see what's coming I know if I need to let go if I need to jump last minute and when you're in the back you can't really see that yeah and I do when I was talking about something to grab on to I love that mm -hmm. section because I think that that's the best most sturdy place to hold on to um, and then what I really liked and I didn't know that I like this because I had never sketched with multiple people until this last weekend mm -hmm. Um, but I was in the back of like a line of people and I really, really liked holding on with one hand and then like swinging back and forth like I was a big tail on the oh end of God. it <laughs> and like putting my legs out and then I even like side surf for a little bit and wow. I was like, oh my God, this is so cool because I saw Michelle doing it because Michelle was um, sketching on the other off the electric motorcycle. And they were doing all these cool tricks. And I was like, wait a second. I bet I can do that. So I was like, hey, how you do that? And she was like, oh, you know, you do this, this, and this. And I just felt like, oh, my gosh. So I, like, leaned down a lot and then had my side wheels just out. And it was just, like, going off of the side wheels. Mm -hmm. And, like, all your weight was on one. And it's honestly not as scary as you think it's going to be, like, doing tricks and stuff but off of that. Also, if you're starting doing this, like definitely gear up because there are so many things that can go wrong. So many things. <laughs> so, so many, many things. things. Especially like you're going faster than you would in your skates naturally, unless you're going downhill. Um, I would say if you're not good with flying down a hill at a, at a fast speed, you then should you should sketching. not be sketching. You should also have someone you really trust the first time that's only going to go like five miles per hour. Yeah. Um, even if they are going Going kind of slow be ready because if they don't know to like slow down to stop and they just put on the brake you're gonna like hurt yourself or jerk and you need to be able to like be prepared and let go and keep rolling yeah and also like when you're sketching you're usually in the middle of traffic mm -hmm. so like beware of that because that's also very dangerous and like if you shoot out like you could literally get hit by a car yeah after in the, an instant after the shoot kiana sketched off of shane's motor bike and all the way back to H Moxie HQ, and we drove there, and they got there before us. Yeah, it was really quick. Um, but like, yeah, I think it's it's really really fun. It's definitely dangerous. I would recommend for the first time because I think that my first time was that one time you took me up 
Junipero Hill. Uh, okay. And I felt like that was a really solid choice for a first time sketching. To go uphill? To go uphill. Yeah. And the reason why that was is because if you had stopped or if you had gone too fast and I had to let go, like the combined forces of like the speed going forward, but also the hill would keep me in the same spot. Like yeah. it would uh, manipulate the speed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be overwhelming. And um, I felt like that was like a solid choice for me. And also Junipero Hill is very smooth. And so it was like, I knew I wasn't going to run into a pothole or something like that, <laughs> which is the danger that this one has experienced is running into potholes. Yeah, that sucked really hard. Um, <laughs> um, let's see, we sketch in front of our house on Valentine's Day Man, that was on Valentine's Day. I remember yeah. driving and just being like, I'm so scared to drive and have you sketch off of this car right now. Yeah, that was fun because we did it like, we're like, it's smooth street. Let's just do it. And that was fun. Yeah. What inspired that? Why did we randomly decide to do that? I don't know. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was right before the pandemic. Oh, yeah. It was <laughs> it was good times. But yeah, Shove was like, I really want to sketch. And I was like, OK, just like get out. And oh, because so I already had my skates on. And, and you, you were like, driving. I just want to like sketch home. And I was like, okay. Yeah, we turned the corner and I was like, oh, I just want to skate. And you're like, oh, sketch. And I was like, yeah. I think, yeah. What, how fast did we go? Like 20? Yeah, like 15, 20. Yeah, 15, 20. We started miles. pretty slow, but then yeah. we went faster. But yeah. So it's it's really fun. And that is my opinion on sketching. I really like it. How do you feel about when you're the driver and you have people sketching off of your car? I feel very scared usually. Um, because you <laughs> more, just... Wait, more scared when you're the driver than when you're the skater sketching? Definitely. Hmm. Because I feel like if something goes wrong and you're driving and someone's sketching, it's like people's lives are in your hands. But if you're sketching and someone else is driving, it's like, I know I can control my own body and what happens to me. And like, I have safety plans, like I have exit plans for whatever's happening. And so I feel much safer being the person who's sketching than but being the person who's driving. The fact that you can tell yourself that as a skater should be like, oh, as a skater, I know that they'll be okay. No, because <laughs> I don't know that everyone who sketches off my car has this. I don't know their experience. I don't know their their comfort level. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think that there's skaters that I'm like, I trust you. I know that you're going to be OK. Yeah. But they, I don't feel that way about many skaters. Like, I don't have as extensive experience. Like, if you were to sketch off my car or if, like, Michelle Estrogen was to sketch off my car, I'd be like, yeah, cool. I have extensive experience with you both. Or if Kiana was to sketch off my car, I'd be like, yeah, mm. sure, whatever. Like, I know that even if worst case scenario, like some sort of accident happened in front, like if all hell broke loose, y'all would be fine because mm. you would just like go off to the side, stop really quick and like be fine. But like, I don't know a lot of skaters like that. So I think that I would just be nervous yeah, I remember thinking like, oh, I wish I would have, there were some people I wanted to involve in that shoot, but I was just like, this is dangerous. Like, I had to only pull the people that I knew could handle it um, because like, I was like, I'm not going to be responsible for that. And it's like not the time to like teach someone when it's like no. motorbikes and motorcycles and then like hill bombing and then like classic cars. Like there were too many variables and like, even as a skater, like, you don't want to just throw a new skater into that or a skater that's even a veteran skater but doesn't do that style, like mm -hmm. that risky kind of, um, like, stunt skating. Yeah. That's when it's just like, you don't want to throw someone into that. So at first I was like, oh, no, I feel bad. I should have included more, like, the other people that were local. But I was like, at the same time, like, I just, I just knew, like, it wouldn't have been right. Yeah. And I think, so I think going back to, like, the actual act of sketching, I think that there's something that is more difficult about it than the than some parts that you maybe don't expect. And that is that the dismount, like finishing sketching, it kind of is 
all over the place, Mm -hmm. right? Like you never know how finishing sketching is going to end up. (laughs) And a lot of times it ends up with like you being shot out in a certain direction. And you never know what that direction is going to be. Like it might be forward. It might be to the side, you know, like you might not be able to stop super quick. Like something that happened with us is because we were like, so it was, Shove's dad on the Harley and then it was Ivy, Kiana and me. And so like uh, Ivy was holding onto the bike, Kiana was holding onto Ivy and then I was holding onto Kiana. And so when the bike stopped and we were going at a pretty safe speed, but like I couldn't stop right away. Like I couldn't even turn around toe stop because like if the space it would have taken even the small the small space it would have taken to turn around toe stop i would have run into kiana who would have run into ivy who would have then run into the bike which then would like put your dad in danger and like just in a weird situation so i every time was getting shot out around the bike and Mm -hmm. every time we were stopping at like an intersection Mm -hmm. so i was getting shot out into an intersection (laughs) so i had to know like i need to be able to stop like a foot in front of that stop sign and if i can't then i'm officially not safe like (laughs) definitely not so knowing that like okay you got to have an exit strategy for the ending point of it is i think also something to consider when we're talking about sketching yeah definitely i don't know for me it's like fun because even if I'm driving, I'm like, yeah. And I definitely get this little devil on my shoulder that's like, drive faster. <laughs> yeah, and I definitely get and that goes, devil that's like, please go faster. Yeah, please go so faster. I go slowly and I'm always like communicating, like, are you good? Like, I like to have all my windows down. I don't play the music loud. So when I'm like, be like, are you good? You want to go faster? Like, I ask first and then I go a little bit. And it's like a tiny bit at a time. And when I know I need to stop, it's like I slow down very casually, like early on. So it's not like that. So it's like very, like, precious cargo. <laughs> but I definitely love when they're like, go faster. I'm like, yes. Yeah, because <laughs> if they stop super fast, not even like super fast, like not slamming on the brakes, just like a regular stop in a car, <laughs> there is like a big chance that like here's the back windshield and here's you and you just like run into it (laughs) like a big chance because if it's a fast stop you have to somehow like get around the car and then stop as opposed to just like you know like you're not going to t-stop you know what I mean (laughs) like (laughs) but yeah I I don't know I really love sketching because I love the adrenaline of it it's so fun um yeah it's just like it's it's risky. It's like getting on a roller coaster. You're like, ooh, the fear of death. Except a roller coaster is more safe than sketchy. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I think it's a good thing to like know about and a fun thing to talk about. And yeah. I'm so stoked that we were able to do it this past Did week. Did we talk about street skating last episode? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're just talking about like the risky types of skating, apparently. Um, I think we're in a kind of a moment for that. I think we're just kind of into that right now. Yeah. Like, I'm a casual street skater, and I still am dangerous. So, and uh, part of being, and even, like, I I don't, do you consider sketching aggressive skating, or is it just still, like, concrete surfing? I think that's, like, beginner aggressive skating. Yeah. Because I don't think that concrete, people who consider themselves concrete surfers, I don't think would necessarily feel comfortable with sketching. Mm-hmm necessarily i think it's like one of those fence teetering ones like you would have to be an advanced concrete surfer in order to sketch yeah because i guess i'm not even a concrete surfer i'm an asphalt surfer yeah no i definitely think that you're beginner street like i I would term you as beginner street when you say concrete surfer i'm like "Eh." well because like i don't like since I'm not doing like tricks and stuff I just like I can navigate the streets more and I hate the sidewalks you will not catch me on the sidewalk unless there's like a cop watching me or like the streets really jacked off I feel safer in the street all the time but you also come up with random trick ideas so I feel like you're just like one step away from doing those tricks because <laughs> I feel like your mindset is very street oh yeah skater. I see things I had rebel do a cool thing today yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I jump. I like went down this little like side of the street workout thing, and then I jumped off. 
Yeah, she jumped over some wood chips and landed on the path. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cool. I have the eye for things that I know can be done. It's just I also have the fear. And I know, like, I feel like if I didn't have that much fear, I probably could attempt and land these things. But I have that voice that's like, "Mm, bitch, no. So I tell other people that I know have the, not only have the ability, but have the, like, hold my beer mentality <laughs> I have them do it because it's like I'm like that's skatable and I know that can go to that blah, blah 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 and then they do it and I'm like I knew it all I'm saying is that we're instigators and <laughs> don't invite us around unless you want to no, be instigated but you instigate with like some off the wall shit that's I'm like that's not even possible no or because dangerous. you want to know why because I'm around too many really good <laughs> skaters so I just come up with the most off the wall shit and I'm like dude I know you can do this like co- like you can for sure do this it's Sometimes they can do it and it's amazing. And other times they're like, I could do something similar to it. And then they do other cool shit. And I'm like, see? But yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Anyways. Sketching. Do it if you're ready. But don't say that we made you do it. Yeah. Because we officially on the record are telling you not to sketch. 